Hey guys, welcome back. I am so sorry about delaying this video for so long, but now I am finally ready to share the second part of my plastic surgery in Korea story. I left you guys as I was about to leave for surgery last time, so today we are going to focus on the entire recovery process. When I awoke after my surgery, Luke and Anna from DocFinder Korea were waiting for me. Anna helped me over to the bed so I could rest right away. I was feeling completely fine at this point, just a bit sleepy. I rested for a short while before Luke and I headed straight back to the hotel for some much needed chill time. Hey guys, so it's the day of the surgery right now. Um, I'm feeling pretty okay. I'm fine. The only thing that's really bothering me is my throat. It's pretty sore. Um, but besides that, I'm not in any pain at all. I'm just a bit tired, a bit sleepy. Um, yeah, that's it really. As you can tell, my face has already started to swell up quite a bit. And it's going to get even bigger as the days progress. Just warning you, look, it's going to keep swelling and swelling. Um, but that's pretty normal. Whenever you get plastic surgery on your face, um, your face will swell up a lot. Um, but then it will go down. So just happy you're good. Looks mm. brushing my hair for a week. So it is now day one after the surgery. The surgery was yesterday, and today has been pretty shitty to be honest. <laughs> um, so obviously my face has gotten way, way, way more swollen, um, and my nose has been bleeding a lot today. So it's um I can't breathe through it anymore. Yesterday I could breathe through it fine, but I can't today because it's all like bloody and crusty. And uh, I've got a bit of bruising here, as you can see. So like the swelling, I think today's probably the worst. Um, uh, but the biggest thing, um, is probably the pain on my chest. Uh, it's really painful. I found out online that apparently like Korean, uh, pain medication is really weak in comparison to what we would be used to in the west so yeah that's kind of something to be wary of so i've been in a lot of pain today um i've just been trying to like walk around the room and uh relax a lot trying to distract myself i didn't get any sleep last night at all um because again i'm in a lot of pain so it's kind of hard to sleep but hopefully i'll get some tonight the next day, Anna came to pick us up from the hotel and took us back to JW Clinic for my first checkup. The nurse at JW helped me to clean up all of the gross blood from around my stitches. I was advised by Anna that if you keep this area super clean, then stitches removal will not be painful at all. But if you don't keep it clean, then it will probably hurt a lot. Personally, I was pretty scared of the stitches removal process, so I really did my best to clean this area as much as possible after this. After my nose was cleaned, I was taken to this machine, which kind of looks like a tanning bed. The LED therapy helps to relieve pain and also reduce the swelling after surgery. The light from this machine gives an anti-inflammatory effect, and it also has a positive influence on the body's immunity, which is why it's used for post-surgery treatment. It really helped with de-swelling my face. I was able to use this machine at every checkup after this and each time it really helped to reduce my swelling more and more. JW Clinic is also equipped with a station for washing and drying your hair. It felt amazing and so refreshing to finally have clean hair. Since I couldn't lift my arms after the breast augmentation, Anna was kind enough to help me blow dry my hair. Hey guys, so it is day three after my surgery. The kind of laser treatment that I got on my face yesterday really seems to have helped the swelling go down quite a bit. So I am beginning to look a little more like myself, which is really, really nice. The bruising is like very yellow at the minute, uh, mostly on this side. I'm still very swollen here, but it has gone down quite a bit. As far as like my face and my nose goes, I don't feel any pain. Um, I can breathe through my nose, which is good. The only place where I am feeling pain is my chest. The pain from my chest has been probably what's been annoying me the most um, just through the entire recovery. I didn't realize just how painful that it would be. It's a very strange feeling, definitely very strange. Yesterday I went for my checkup and I got like this special bra 
I'll insert a clip or show you guys a picture of what it looks like and apparently you have to wear it for two months which I didn't know I thought that it would be over a lot quicker than that um, and you have to wear this special band and everything but hopefully it will be worth it in the end sorry if my voice is a little bit wispy still um, it's hard to cough I need to cough but because my chest is all um, restricted it's kind of hard to cough I've also got a little bit of a headache I think that's just from being cooped up in this hotel for so long with nothing really to do besides start my phone and start my laptop honestly I would really love to go outside and get a bit of fresh air but I feel a little too self-conscious to do so so I'll probably just stay cooped up here for a little while longer okay well I'll check back in with you guys tomorrow and let you know how I'm getting on hey guys so it is now day four after surgery and hopefully as you can tell I am feeling a million times better today the pain is pretty much gone um my face is looking it's still swollen but it's looking a little bit more like my face again um which is nice the swelling is definitely going down i still have a lot of yellowness and bruising here as you can see not a cute look but today i'm actually feeling well enough to go outside so we're going to go to starbucks first and get some lunch and look really wants to go to a temple but i don't know if i can walk that far my chest still does feel like really weird which i suppose makes sense it's going to feel really weird there's like a foreign object in there it just feels really strange but at least i'm not in pain anymore i can get up and i can walk and i can do things and same as before i'm there's no pain around my nose at all whatsoever so that's really good on this day I was able to have the plaster that was covering my nose removed. It felt so good to finally get that thing off my face but oh my god my nose was looking so oily and gross not to mention all of the blackheads as well but I would really have to wait a while before I tried to get rid of them unfortunately. I also went for another laser treatment on this day to help with the swelling even more. Now comes the part that I was dreading the most, the stitches removal. I was really scared about this part but I followed Anna's advice and was really vigilant with keeping my nose clean. Removing the stitches didn't hurt at all. I could feel like a slight tug sometimes and sometimes a small pinching sensation but it was totally fine for the most part. Actually at one point I really really needed to sneeze which made my eyes water up and that made Luke think that I was crying due to pain. But of course, as I say, I felt no pain during this process, so thank goodness I was totally fine. I was actually told by Dr. Sewell, my breast augmentation doctor, that I didn't have any stitches to remove for that area. When he told me, I was super relieved and I felt so lucky that I didn't have to go through stitches removal process again. Here is how the scars on my breasts look at 6 weeks post-op. I will update you guys in a later video on how they progress. So it is day nine after my surgery? No, not day nine. It's like eight. day eight, yeah. I've got cake in my teeth. But yeah, day nine, um, I'm feeling pretty okay. No pain whatsoever. As I said before, um, it feels really, really, really good to finally be able to put some makeup on because I got my stitches out yesterday. As you can probably tell, my nose is still extremely swollen, especially around the bridge area. But that's fine. This kind of surgery does take a lot of patience whenever it comes to letting the swelling go down. I'm gonna have to wait a little while longer. After the stitches were removed, I made sure to get out of the hotel as much as I possibly could. I did a lot of walking to help promote blood circulation and I even went and did some shopping in Gangnam Station. All that was left was to take some photos for my after shot. Of course you can tell that my nose is still very very swollen at this stage and even now it has not gone down by much. Here is a photo showing my nose before and how the swelling has progressed. For me it has been a really slow process but I have spoken to both Doc Finder Korea and my surgeon at JW Clinic who have assured me that it's completely normal because it's my second surgery so the deswelling is a lot slower.
From the side, however, hopefully you can see an improvement already. As you can see, my bump has been completely removed, which is exactly what I wanted, so I'm really pleased with it. And now for the chest. Here is a video showing what my chest looked like before. As you can see, I didn't have a lot going on in that area. And then here is the after. At first they felt really hard and it was really hard to get used to, but over time they've gotten softer and they feel a lot more natural. And they are also quite subtle, which is exactly what I wanted. This was my last checkup at JW Clinic before I left Korea and headed back to Japan. In my next video I'll be updating you guys on my swelling and scars, as well as answering any questions that you may have so feel free to ask me anything down below. Thank you guys so much for watching my journey and I will see you in the next one. Bye!